Hey you guys, so we had gone to this like small n mall that's nearby um, because I guess we had to go to Bath and Body Works. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, I worked at Bath and Body Works for a year and a half and um, I helped that really bad and um, I ended up having to, I was a manager and I had to like resign I guess, my, I don't know, I had to quit. And um, I hadn't done anything with them up until a few weeks ago. I was able to get in to be like a floor set associate, which is like the people who come in at night um, and revamp like the store every like four to eight, four to six weeks or something like that. So um, I am doing that. Um, I have only worked one shift so far though. But it's really cool because the store manager of the store that's by Adrian's house was the manager that originally hired me to just be like a regular associate. So that's pretty cool. Um, so we had to go there. I ended up meeting the district manager, which is totally different than, than who um, I had. Um, but we picked up a few things and I'm going to be making a activated charcoal mask for the first time. Basically what I'm going to be doing is making a face mask with activated charcoal because it's a really good detox. I don't know where I put it. Okay, well that's a problem. And um, I'm going to be mixing it with coconut oil, like the, the hard version, not the fractionated version. This is great. Okay. I did find out recently that any masks and stuff like that, like homemade, um, anytime you double dip, um, like, it spreads more bacteria and stuff like that, um, so, and also you can't really do it on plastic because, um, even if it's safe, it's still going to kind of, like, It's still going to be, like, pass through it. I don't know how to explain it. There's still going to be stuff from, like, the plastic that's going to, like, you know, go in. And you don't want that, especially when you're trying to detox and put it on your face. So, here we go. Okay, so it's on. The issue is that I ran into this problem, like, a week or two weeks ago that um, the coconut oil does react, obviously, to the body heat, so it drips. Uh, I don't know what to do to, like, get it to, like, stick a little bit harder. But this is how my face looks right now, and I'm, like, eating charcoal, so that's fun. Hopefully this will feel good um, when I take it off. Hey guys, so it's like 10 ish, and I was able to have a little bit of food. And right now, I'm um, going to be filling up my nightly turmeric as my anti inflammatory. Um, college basketball, and I'm gonna make my turmeric. Hey guys, so I'm gonna close out the vlog. Um, we're still hanging out. I'm about to take my night medication and um, we're gonna go to sleep in a little bit, but hopefully tomorrow, I don't know if I ever talked about this, but um, we were waiting for prior authorization for my pain medication and I called the office at two and then called the pharmacy at five and then called the office at like 5.30 so we think that we I should be getting the prior authorization tomorrow, meaning I could pick up the medication tomorrow. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous about taking it. Um, just because I really don't know what to expect with my body anymore. And I know like seizures are just so like, for me at least, the two that I've had have just randomly happened. Um, and I just wake up like really confused. Um, I'm just worried about that happening, or like going up and down the stairs and having a seizure or something like that. 
Um, cause I don't know what's going, I still don't know what's going on and why I'm having these. So I'm just nervous, but I know that I need the, the medic, I, I need the pain relief. Um, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, hopefully seizure free. Have a great rest of your day guys.